How you doing today, folks? Today I'd like to show you old-fashioned bleeding heart. And I have to be honest, I don't think I've ever actually planted old-fashioned bleeding heart. There's newer cultivars of bleeding hearts that seem to flower longer and they're a little more compact. And I've, I've kind of relied on those. Today, as I'm looking at this beautiful grouping of bleeding hearts, I really think I need to, to stop and realize what a bleeding heart is good for and, and use it in the right situation. Uh, bleeding hearts are gonna flower, it's early May right now, so bleeding hearts will flower from late April, early May until the weather gets really warm. It depends how quickly it gets warm, how long they bloom. The reason I think I don't use them that often is because once the weather gets warm and summer comes, they turn yellow and they just basically die back to the ground and you're left with this, this just big open spot in the garden. The mistake I've been making is not planting it with something else. When I did my research for this video, they recommend you plant your bleeding hearts with something that blooms later in the season. So if this, the bleeding hearts here were maybe interplanted with some hosta or some daylilies, you would have the beautiful bloom now, but my hosta haven't even emerged from the ground. They're only like an inch or two tall right now. Uh, my daylilies aren't going to bloom for another month or so. So just as these start to kind of decline, you would have another plant coming in. Bleeding Heart likes to grow in a shady spot. I have a tree that's shading me right now, and then we're also on the edge of these rhododendrons, and they're doing perfectly fine. You want to have dry shade, but not droughty shade. An average garden soil, a loamy soil that stays moist, except for the midsummer when things are really hot and dry, I think they're going to do really well. Every time I see healthy looking bleeding hearts, they're in the shade. I think I mentioned, you know, once the weather gets warm, they're just gonna kind of die to the ground. What you can do then is just go ahead and cut them back. You know, you don't have to leave them there. Just cut them back to the ground. In the fall, you may see them coming back. Uh, if not, you'll see them next year and have this beautiful bloom again. I will, and I think you should as well, reconsider the dwarf fringed bleeding heart. The dwarf bleeding heart. See, I just said dwarf fringed bleeding heart because that's what we've been planting. I think you really should consider old-fashioned bleeding heart for your garden because while it's old-fashioned, for that early spring color, it certainly does the job. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Have yourselves a wonderful day.